Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to check your Twitter updates through Excel 2007. Now if you'd like to get the workbook you're about to see, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So I'm going to show you how to pull in uh, data from Twitter. Basically all the updates. So let's go ahead and open Twitter and start from there. So here I have a basic uh, Twitter account that I just set up to test and a uh, bunch of random people I guess were added as uh, I'm following. Anyway, the point is what you want to do is you're going to see the home page first, right? So this is the updates that everyone else is tweeting who you're following. And if you scroll down to the bottom right, you're going to see something that says RSS feed. That's the important part. So what you want to do is go ahead and click RSS feed and then you're going to see a screen that looks like this and this is what a basic uh, RSS feed which is an XML file looks like right so this is what all your tweets look like when they're um, not formatted basically now what I'm going to do real quick before I move on is um, to show you how you can follow other people's tweets so if you just want to get it from one person basically so this is what you need right here to see all the updates to your account but if you want to get the updates to someone else's account or you know say let's do Best Buy well what you could do is go to the Best Buy Twitter page go to RSS feed of Best Buy's tweets click that and then you'll get the um, tweets from Best Buy right so you may not understand the point of that right now but you will in a second but basically you want to get someone else's tweets just go to their RSS feed through their Twitter you know, their Twitter interface anyway though let's go back to our Twitter account right here we go we got the RSS feed now what you want to do next is to go up here and copy the URL so copy the entire URL and then we're done using Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox here so borrow on that go back to Excel now we've got the URL the RSS feed copied right so we need to pull in all that stuff into Excel now what you need to have is the developer tab if you don't have the developer tab in Excel 2007, go to the office button, then go down to Excel options, and on the popular tab, you're going to want to check show developer tab in the ribbon. By default, it's going to be unchecked, so make sure you check that, click OK, and you got the developer tab. Now the next thing we want to do is to click the source button right here within the XML box. So click the source button. And if you're wondering why, it's because RSS feeds are XML files. That's really all they are. So once you click the source button, you're going to see the XML source window appear right over here. Go ahead and click XML maps. This window is going to open up. Click add. What that's going to do is open up a browser or open up this window so you can browse your computer to add uh, an XML map or an XML file. All you need to do is go down to where it says file name here. You can see when I hover over it, it says file name or web address. Well, we remember copied the URL from our Twitter RSS feed. And we're going to paste that right in here. So just paste your RSS URL feed there and then click open. Now you see it's trying to connect and it's asking for uh, my Twitter account info basically. So I'm just going to enter that here and then click OK. Once you do that, you're going to see a little message like this after it has connected to the server. It's going to tell you the source does not refer to a schema, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Just click OK. Now we've got our RSS map in here. The next thing you want to do is to click that and then at we can rename it if we want to, but don't worry about that. Click it and then select OK. Now, over here in our XML source window, we have the entire XML map. So what this is basically is it's all the data in our RSS feed. So it's all of our Twitter update information. We can pull any of this in that we want, but the information that we're actually going to want is right down here in the item. So this is what we want to pull in. But we don't need to pull everything in. Really, I just want to see um, what the tweet was and when it was. So I'm simply going to pull in pub date or the published date. I'll put that right here. And then I'll pull in the title. 
and put that right here. So all I did was click and drag it over. Now if you put something over here that you don't want, simply go back to the uh, XML source window here, right click it, and select remove element. And then you can just highlight it and delete it. Anyway though, all right, let's go back. Title, right there, and pub date. So I'm just clicking this once and dragging it to the cell where I want it to be. Now the next thing I need to do is to pull in all the data. So I can stay on this design tab, but you don't need to, or I can go back to the data tab. The reason there's a design tab, this is formatted as an Excel 2007 table. Anyway, I'll go back to the data tab and click refresh all. And then depending on the speed of the internet connection, all of your tweets are gonna come in pretty quickly. So we've got the date of the tweet and the tweet right here. Now notice that the time, even though you won't know this, but these times are for me about seven hours off. So what that means is you just have to realize that the time's gonna come in a little bit differently. Um, <clears throat> so you have to adjust for that. However, all of your tweets are right here. Now you wanna make sure you can see everything. Simply double click to the right of column A. And now we can read all of the updates to our account. And we don't actually have to be in uh, Twitter. We don't have to be in a browser. So you can have a bunch of spreadsheets open and you can have this in one of your spreadsheets. And basically, um, you're gonna be the only one that knows that you're checking out Twitter information or your Twitter updates. Now this is a basic way to view your Twitter updates. And if you wanted, you could create a complicated or relatively complicated system of macros and forms to actually view and update your Twitter account through Excel. But this is a basic way to, from any Excel spreadsheet, very quickly view all the updates to your Twitter account. And like I said, all you have to do is change the URL in the process at the very beginning so you can see updated tweets from other people. So if you want to see all the updated ones from Best Buy, you can do that. And anytime you want to update the tweets to make sure you can see the most up-to-date ones, all you have to do is go to the data tab and click refresh all. Now the reason you're not really going to be able to set intervals so easily here, which is what you might do in another situation, is because it's imported as an XML file. Uh, it seems a little complicated, but the point is to update and just click refresh all, and it's going to get you the newest tweets. So that's really about it for how you can get your Twitter account updates through Microsoft Excel 2007. And like I said, if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there.